Spiders can be found everywhere, both indoors and outdoors. There are almost 900 species of spiders in Texas, and two groups are considered harmful to humans. In this video, let's explore the nature of spiders. What are spiders? Spiders are in a class called arachnids. They are different from insects because spiders have two body segments, not three like regular insects that have a head, thorax, and abdomen. Instead, spiders have a cephalothorax, which is the head fused with the thorax and then the abdomen. Spiders also have chesilocerae, which is located in front of the cephalothorax. These are the spider's jaws. Most spiders have eight eyes, but there are a few spiders that have six, four, or two eyes. Also, spiders have eight legs. Lots of people are scared of spiders for many different reasons. One reason is people fear getting bit by spiders knowing that there are spiders out there that can be harmful to humans. Although only 0.1% of spiders are venomous enough to harm humans. But if we think about it, a lot of their physical and behavioral features that seem scary to people are features that these animals need to survive. These spiders have many different adaptations to help them survive in their environment. This spiny backed or weaver has a hard exoskeleton. An exoskeleton is a external covering that protects the body. This orb weaver's spines are to defend itself from predators. These spiders can be found throughout the southern U.S. This spiny-backed orb weaver is adding the sticky line to her web. Spiders make webs to capture their prey, protect their eggs, or protect their homes. Various species of spiders create different types of webs. Almost all spiders have venom. Spiders use their venom to subdue their prey, which are mostly insects. Only a few spiders have venom strong enough to harm humans, like the black widow and the brown recluse. Jumping spiders, like this bold jumping spider, can jump 10 to 50 times its body length. How is this possible since spiders do not have leg muscles? These spiders use blood pressure to propel themselves upward. Jumping spiders can rapidly increase the blood flow to their legs, which will fill the legs with fluid launching the spider upward. This fishing spider has an interesting adaptation. Since they are typically found near bodies of water, they have hair on their legs and feet to sense the vibrations underwater. And these hairs also can trap air bubbles that the spider can use to breathe underwater when hunting for fish and tadpoles. Even though most spiders use webs to hunt, there are other spiders that rely on their camouflage. Like this crab spider. This spider stays hidden until it sees the prey and quietly gets closer to ambush the prey. Other spiders rely on camouflage but are also active at night. Let's see if we can find one. To look for spiders at night, try spider sniffing. Spider sniffing is a safe and fun way to search for spiders. All you need is a flashlight and hold it at eye level either in front of your nose or hold it beside your eye. Scan open fields or along trails and look for a bright jewel-like glitter. This glitter-like shine is caused by an eye membrane called tapetum. As close as you can, Shine your flashlight where you see the eye shine to reveal the spider. This is a wolf spider. Wolf spiders rely on their camouflage to hide. They are fast so that they can chase and pounce on their prey like a wolf, hence the name. Spiders are very versatile and can live in a variety of habitats. Their adaptations kept them thriving for 400 million years and will continue to do so as new species of spiders are discovered every day. Thank you for watching everybody and if you like this video let us know. Like us on Facebook and remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also if you want more information about the Edinburgh Scenic Wetlands and Wolverine Center 
check out our website at edinburghdwbc.org or you can give us a call at 956-381-9922. Thank you everyone. Have a great day. Bye.